Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about inflation. It's a popular yet complex topic that everyone is hearing about in the news, but many people don't know much about. But don't worry, we're going to keep it simple and explain it in a way that everyone can understand. With that said, let's get into it. This video is going to break down the concept of inflation by answering five questions. However, I'll be answering the question without using any fancy economic jargon so that no matter what, it's easy to follow along and understand. The first question is straightforward. What is inflation? Put as simply as possible, inflation is when the price of goods and services go up over time. Think of it like a balloon that inflates. It keeps getting bigger and bigger, just like how prices are getting higher and higher. Now that you have an idea of what inflation is, let's move on to the next question. Why does inflation happen? Well, there are many factors that can cause inflation, but one of the main reasons is simply because there is too much money chasing too few goods and services. This means that there is more money available to buy things, but there isn't enough of those things to go around. And when this happens, it causes prices to go up. And the next question that we should be asking ourselves is, how does inflation affect us? Inflation affects absolutely everybody, but it can be especially tough for people on fixed or low incomes like retirees. When prices go up, the money that they have saved becomes worth less and less. This means that they can't buy as much as they used to, even with the exact same amount of money. Another way inflation can affect us is by making it more expensive to borrow money. If you have a loan, for example, the interest rate might go up with inflation. This means that you'll end up paying more in interest over time. Another question on everybody's mind is, how is inflation controlled? Well, governments and central banks can control inflation by using a variety of tools. For example, they might raise interest rates, which makes borrowing money more expensive and helps slow down the economy. They can also change the amount of money that they print, which can help keep prices stable. If you want to see a video that we've made on controlling inflation, we'll leave a link to that video in the description. Feel free to check it out if you want more details on that. Our fifth question is, is inflation bad? Well, the simple answer to this question is no. Inflation is completely normal in a well-functioning economy. A healthy inflation rate is between one and 3%, and this is necessary for an economy to grow. However, it's when inflation is above this range that we begin to see goods and services get unreasonably expensive and it begins to impact people's day-to-day -day lives more heavily. And that is a period that much of the world is in today. Inflation is a complex topic, but we hope that this simple explanation helps you understand it a little bit better. Remember, inflation is when prices of goods and services go up over time, and it can be affected by many different factors. By keeping an eye on inflation, governments and central banks can help keep our economy stable and make sure that we're all able to cope with the rising cost of living. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, let us know by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and of course, leave a comment in the comment section telling us what sort of economic concepts you'd like to see us cover in the future. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll catch you in the next.